Welcome to this video where we're going to explore square numbers. So a square number is a number that we can form a square with. In other words, if I have a number of counters and I can create a square like I've done here, then that number of counters is a square number. So four is a square number and it creates a square that's a two by two sides equal to two. So let's go through the sequence of our square numbers one by one. So first of all, one is a square number. We can see that it has a side of one and its area, in fact, is one. So one is a square number. And we can represent that as one equal to one multiplied by one. Now, if we add on to create the next square, we can see that four is a square number. It has a side of two. And we need a total of four squares to fill up that two by two square. So four is equal to two by two, or two multiplied by two, and it's square. If we do another on each edge, on each side, we can see that nine is a square number. And it has a side of three. And so on as we go. So the next one with a side of four will be 16 counters all up. And so 16 is equal to four times four. What we can also see is an additive pattern that happens here. So often we'll give students sequences of numbers like one, four, nine, and 16 and we'll ask them what's the pattern and what we can see if I just move these away is that when we start with one we add three to get the four we add five to get the nine and we're going to add seven to get the 16. So we would ex expect that if we add nine, we're going to get 25. And if we do that, we can see that in fact adding the nine does give us the 25 and that five, uh, 25 is equal to five times five. This pattern can be broken down even more. What we saw as we grew the one into four was that we added two, the side of four plus one, two plus the one here. And from four to nine, we added the three plus two. Here it'll be four plus three, and here five plus four. So it's important for students to make these patterns, not just recall the square numbers as something that they've learned as special numbers to be repeated, um, or you know just recalled, but actually see how they grow the pattern. And certainly they need to link it to that square shape that's being created because that's what makes it a square. The side length would be our square root. So in other words, the square root of something like four is two because its side is two. The square root of nine is three because the side is three. And the total area when we're using grid like this is the square number. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video on square numbers. Look out for the video on cube numbers as well as triangular numbers. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to know about more videos coming up.